Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to overclock the Ryzen 5 3600 AMD CPU which I've paired with a MSI B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard and I'm going to apologize in advance because I am recording this on my phone and the reason for that is I don't want any interference from any screen capturing software so everything you see will be recorded off my phone. All right, so as you can see, the CPU speed, I've currently set it to 4.20 gigahertz. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go into my settings, click on save and exit, and I'm gonna restore the defaults. It's gonna say load optimized defaults, click on yes. And I'm just gonna set my RAM back to A, XMP enabled because that does disable it when you restore the defaults and I'm also going to set the frequency back to 2933 all right so as you can see this is now on stock speed just going to click on the cross of the corner there and as you can see everything has been set to auto and I'm going to restart the computer now. All right, so let's just wait for this to restart and get into Windows. Alright cool, so we are now in Windows and I'm going to right click and go to Task Manager. As you can see, the default base speed is showing as 3.60, which is the stock speed for the Ryzen 5 3600 and my RAM speed is also set to 2933. Alright, so now we're going to run a benchmark test with Cinebench. So let's just wait for that to load up. So as of today's date, I am using the latest version of Cinebench. All right, let's just hit start. Start the benchmark. As I said earlier, I'm not going to capture this off my PC. I'm using my phone because I don't want any OBS capturing software or any other software interfering with this result. All right, so as you can see guys, the stock speed has given me a multi-core CPU score of 8936 points there. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna restart my computer. I'm gonna go into BIOS, obviously hit your delete key when the computer is restarting and that will take you into the BIOS screen. All right guys, once you're in the BIOS, click on OC click on OC Explore mode and set that to Expert 
and then where it says CPU ratio, I like to normally put it as 42.00, which will take my CPU frequency to 4.2 gigahertz. Then if you click on advanced CPU configuration, precision boost overdrive is normally set to auto. So if we just set that to disabled, we're gonna disable that. Let's go back. All right, as you can see, AXMP has already been enabled from the previous restart. So we don't have to change anything there. Let's scroll down to the voltage settings now. And if you see where it says CPU core voltage, if you set it to override mode, and then underneath that, you will have the option for override CPU core voltage. Now, I like to set this as 1.3. Now, obviously for you, it might be different. You can play around with these settings, take it higher or lower, depending on your situation. All right. And if we just scroll down to where it says CPU features, in this section, you will see an option there which says AMD Cool and Quiet, which is also set to auto. So I'm gonna set this to disabled as well. There we go. As you can see there. Let's just go back. All right, so just to recap, CPU ratio is 4200. Precision boost overdrive has been disabled. AXMP is enabled. Override mode for CPU core voltage, 1.3000 volts, and CPU features. If we just disable the AMD Cool and Quiet, go back. Make sure that Game Boost has been switched off as well. You don't want that enabled at the same time. All right, so just click on the cross there. As you can see, it's going to change quite a lot of things there. Just make sure that your settings are correct. Yes, and then it should restart your computer. All right, so let's just check out Task Manager. Click on Performance. As you can see, my CPU now, base speed is showing as 4.20 gigahertz. Obviously, memory is still the same there. Let's close that. Let's run Cinebench and have a look at the score now. All right, let's hit start.
All right, and as you guys can see, we've now got the multiple score there of 9618 points. It's much higher than the stock speed, obviously. I'm just going to run this again, just for good luck, because I have got much higher speeds than that in the past on this configuration. <laughs> All right, and as you can see, we have got 200 more points than before. So we have got a score now of 9847, which is really cool. This is what I was getting previously. So as you can see, we have got a much higher score now. So hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and like this video. If you have any queries or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Please do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time.